All right, so now it's time to insert our first document into MongoDB using the Java driver. So if you recall from document representation test, we saw how to create a document using basic DB object, so we'll be doing the same for insert. But I'll start a new class for this called insert test. And we'll create our main. And you might recall from last week how we bootstrapped ourselves with the Java driver, but I'll just review it again here since it's been a little while. So we start with a Mongo client and it throws an unknown host exception, so I'll add that to the method signature. Then I need to choose a database, call it course db, and I can get that from the client using get db. And then I need a collection, which is of type db collection. I'll just call this collection, and I get the collection from the course database. And I'll call the collection insert test. And next I need an object to insert. So I'll create a document. And I'll just create a very simple document, x with value 1. And notice I'm storing it into a db object, even though it's a basic db object. That's just to prove that the insert method can accept a db object. And finally I insert it with the insert method. I write the doc, and that's all there is to it. So, but first, actually, let me print it out. I'm going to print it out before I do the insert and again after. So let's run it. And you can see when I print it out before, it just has x of 1, which we'd expect. But when I print it out after the insert, you can see that it has another field called underscore ID. Now, you probably remember this from earlier in the week. Just like the shell, if you didn't already have an underscore ID field in the document you insert, the Java driver will create the underscore ID field for you and give it a new object ID. And this is just syntactic sugar. It's essentially shorthand for this, putting an ID in here explicitly and saying new object ID. Now, object ID is of type org.bson.types object ID should import it automatically. If we do this, you'll see the same thing. Except in this case, since I put the underscore ID in the basic DB object explicitly, you can see that it's the same in both cases. Same value of the object ID. Let me just put a, just so I can show you what it looks like in the shell, let me put a drop in here just so the collection's empty. Now let's look at the shell. And let's see, it was insert test, so I can say db.insert test, db.insert test.find. And you can see there's my documents that I inserted. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of other things. First, what I want to do is show you that you can also insert a list of documents using a single insert method call instead of just one. So let's, let's create doc2. and give it the um, x2 as a field and its value. And then instead of inserting the single doc, I'll say I'll insert both of them together using the arrays.asList method. And let's run that. And if you look, if we look in the database, we'll now see that there's two documents, each with a distinct object ID and a distinct value for x. So the last thing I want to show you is the behavior of insert when you insert a duplicate document. So let's get rid of document 2. We'll do our insert like we did before. But I'm going to do it twice. I'll insert the same document twice. If we run that, we should expect to see an exception the second time. And we do, and it's a section of type duplicate key or Mongo exception duplicate key. And it says that there's a duplicate key error with this object ID, which is as we'd expect. So the first insert succeeded and the second one failed. Now, whether I add the ID explicitly, it doesn't really matter. So if I take that out and run it again, we'll get the same error. And that's pretty much it for insert. So we saw that we can insert into a collection either using the single document insert form or a list of documents. And then if we try to insert a document with the same underscore ID 
as an already existing document in that collection, we'll get a duplicate key exception. Let's do a quiz. So the question is, do you expect the second insert below to succeed? So I create a basic DB object here with no explicit underscore ID field. We insert it. Then I call remove field that will remove the underscore ID field from this document. And then I insert again. So first option is no, because the underscore ID will be a duplicate in the collection. Second is no, because the remove field call will remove the entire document. Third is yes, because the remove field call will remove the underscore ID key added by the driver in the first insert. And finally, yes, because the driver always adds a unique underscore ID field on insert.